Well, um, I think we'll go ahead and get started. So um, I'm really grateful to uh, for everyone who's joined today. Uh, I'm Austin Burningham. I'm on the channel marketing team here at Atlassian. And today we're going to be talking about creating customer stories. And I'm excited about this because uh, I've talked to a lot of partners this year who are excited about the idea of writing customer stories, but they haven't gotten started yet. So I think this webinar is going to uh, help everyone know where to start and, and how to start. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to our two speakers. Uh, first, Sarah McCoy. Sarah has been taking on uh, case studies written by Atlassian for the last several months. And she has been at, been at Atlassian for over a year now, with her primary focus being on building pipeline for case studies. Uh, and then second, we're going to hear from uh, Pedro Braga, who is the executive director of Sabia Agency, where he has worked for over 13 years. Uh, Pedro has been helping solution partners and Atlassian with lead generation, event support, and marketing for the last three years, uh, mainly in Central and South America. Uh, just a few housekeeping notes to kick us off. Uh, the session today is being recorded. And I'll send through a recording and uh, a link to the slides and a follow-up email tomorrow. And uh, there's going to be a few polls throughout the session today. And uh, we'd love for you to participate in them so we can better understand uh, a little bit more about uh, your experience with case studies. And finally, uh, this session is designed to answer your questions. Uh, Sarah and Pedro want to hear uh, what blockers, questions, and concerns you may have around customer stories. So feel free to use the Q&A function at the bottom to submit your questions. And we've dedicated some time at the end to answer those. Uh, so with that, um, I will turn the time over to the people you came to hear from. Uh, so Sarah, I'll let you take it from here. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Um, I really appreciate it. And love all of our partners. So thanks for having me. Um, so as Austin mentioned, I'm Sarah McCoy. Um, I've been at Atlassian about a year and a half. And um, I've worked in customer advocacy and marketing, which um, for about seven years. And what advocacy marketing or customer marketing is really is getting your happiest customers to go on record for you about your products or solutions. Um, and as Austin mentioned, my big focus is making sure we have a full pipeline of these uh, customer vo voices for Atlassian. Um, I sit on the brand customer and editorial team, and my job is really to just find great stories. And how we uh, do that is we spread the word <laughs> through case studies, speakers, um, press, analyst reports, shareholder newsletter, all, all sorts of great ways to engage customers. Um, 10 to one, if a customer marketing, if um, you need a voice for customers, uh, customer marketing is involved. And, and often, most cases, uh, partners as well. And so no big surprise here, we are all in on cloud stories. Um, our big focus is actually around enterprise cloud migrations and um, any sort of positive outcomes from cloud products. I'm often asked, why case studies? What is, why is this the, th the piece of content that everyone needs? And um, as you probably know, in this day and age, all marketing is customer focused. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is just that people don't really believe you talking about your product anymore. They wanna hear from their peers and um, other customers. So a th trusted th third party or customers is what they're looking for via peer reviews or word of mouth. And so when it comes to making a customer focused content strategy, the biggest thing that you will need <laughs> in terms of content is a case study. And so they are tend to be the biggest um, thing that teams focus on, especially at Atlassian. Um, and so the reason for that is really just that case studies help us sell. And um, they've been especially effective for enterprise audience. 
And the cool part about that is that um, our case studies with partners in particular tend to be the most in depth and have the richest use cases. So we're really appreciative to our partners. <clears throat> and uh, I just wanted to show some examples of how, what sort of gem quotes we get from customers. This is a great one from HomeGate AG. They're basically like Europe's version of Zillow. And so what I love about this quote is that they show that they kind of bust some myths about the cloud. And then they also say that their partner Becom was absolutely essential to their success in migrating to the cloud. And we interviewed Air France, um, same thing. They mentioned their journey to data center and how their partner was especially um, instrumental in their journey. And so that's really one of the big goals for customer marketing is we wanna make sure that any of our customers who are deciding to embark on an agile transformation journey or a journey to the cloud that they're aware of the value that partners provide. Hey, Sarah, I think I'm going to yeah. jump in here and launch our first poll. Um, Please do. Asking, uh, asking our partners if they have uh, created a Atlassian customer story before. Uh, so I'll give everyone just a second here to answer this and then we'll, we'll share out the results. This is so fun. <laughs> the poll. Yeah, 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 it can definitely be interesting. So, so far, it uh, looks like the majority of the partners on the call today have created a, a customer story before. So uh, we appreciate you being on the call, even if you've already done this. I'm going to I'll go ahead and end this now and uh, I'll, I'll share the results here so you can see. Um, 71% saying they've created a customer case study before. So that's great. Um, thanks for letting me interrupt there, Sarah. I will uh, give of it course. back over to you. Okay. So as you can see here, um, so far this year, our team has created 17 case studies and 11 of those have all been with partners, um, which is super wonderful to be able to report. Um, we've also worked with partners to do a campaign in the Wall Street Journal. We did these CIO profiles, um, which partners were instrumental in helping us get off the ground. Um, we've worked really closely with you at events. So inviting customers to speak at team um, and really all of the ways that we engage with customers and customer marketing. But of course we wanna do more. Um, we have really huge initiatives in front of us like becoming an IT service leader um, and getting our customers to cloud and data center. And so obviously partners are a huge, huge part of that. So um, <laughs> we cannot do this alone if I haven't already made that clear. Um, partners really have the strongest ties to our customers and as such, our team really relies on the field, both partners and our internal um, sales team to help us get great stories. Um, but typically when I say that, the next question is, okay, cool, I'm happy to help, <laughs> but what is it for me or my customer? <clears throat> and so there are a lot of benefits to working with this. Um, I'd say the biggest one is that you get access to Atlassian's audience, which is global and um, very well known in tech. So we get that tech audience. Um, this can be really great for customers for recruiting tech talent. It also helps them sell their digital transformation journey um, that they're on and that they're really investing in modern tech tools and practices. Um, since we've been voted for a leader, being a leader in enterprise plan agile planning tools and IT service management. Um, in terms of cool things that we can do with customers, we've done campaigns like um, one with NPR where we featured customers in our ads. Um, we did, we featured Domino's, Twitter, um, and those ads outperform all other ads that do not have customer proof. We also did a campaign with Walmart and Dropbox, um, which was really cool. And then we can also do webinars with your customers and you. Um, we can have you speak at events. 
and of course, um, talk to press. And we always get the question about big customers and if they can't go on public record, well, there's often um, opportunities for analysts, speaking to analysts for reports. So of course they cannot forget partners and what it is in it for you. And so that is really that you are key part of our, of the customer success story. Um, we make sure you're included if they speak at events. Um, we make sure that you're really included in every activity we do with the customer so that you can also get some um, awareness and great marketing. Um, and in the next slide, I actually wanted to just show you what doing a case study um, as an example might look like with Atlassian. This is one we did with KLM Air France. And it has the partner's logo at the bottom and on the right is the web version. And so we also give you a link back to your website, which can help you with building domain authority and hopefully getting some leads. Um, if you've ever done a case study, <laughs> and this could be for any marketers on the call, but you really probably know how um, time consuming they are. They're just notoriously um, sort of a beast. Um, you have to wrangle customers, get them to agree to it, interview them, write drafts, make sure that you get their feedback. It it's, can be a long process. So if you work with Atlassian, the good news is that's time and energy that your marketing folks don't have to spend on a case study um, because you can actually um, take the finished product and repurpose it on your own website as long as you just don't change the text too much. <laughs> Um, and we also give you a branded PDF for you to share for your own sales enablement. Um, so with that, I will just say, please share your happy customer stories with us. Um, if you're interested, we have a cool page in the partner portal called the Customer Spotlight Program. So you can get in touch with me there, um, or you could also email me at smccoy at atlassian.com or get in touch with your channel managers all know me as well so thanks so much well thank you sarah um it's great to see that uh atlassian's looking for these great stories uh from customers and uh partners can get involved to be working with you uh on that note i actually wanted to ask uh partners uh in our second poll question today if they were already familiar with the customer spotlight program. So yeah, interested to find out if this is new information. Um, honestly, it was new to me when uh, Sarah shared it with me a few weeks ago as we were planning for this webinar. All right, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this now and um, share, Sarah, I think you'll be, <laughs> happy to see that there's uh, some some new eyes on your page here today. So you'll you should have uh, some new opportunities to work with some some of our partners. Amazing! I guess it was you swollen. So thanks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you, Sarah. We we appreciate your time today. Um, now we'll turn it over to uh, Pedro from Sabia Agency. Thank you, thank you, all, Steve. Thank you, Sarah. Well, uh, as part of Sabi Agency, we have built customer stories in different countries of Latin America. Uh, the first experience was with the Via Varejo. It's a big, biggest online retail company in Brazil. And it ended up being uh, very visible. We had more than 170,000 people exposed to that content in the first month. So it was a great first experience. And to make that happen, we connect uh, with solution partners and help them really throughout the whole process. First, we check the potential of the story. And when the story connects with Atlassian's strategic focus, as Sarah mentioned, the partner can take advantage of our Atlassian's promotion structure. And as soon as the partner embraces the challenge, we go and execute everything from that, from interviewing the project team and customer uh, to reviewing and then building the assets to promote it uh, for the partner. And the first thing uh, in building a customer story, it's a journey, right? As Sarah mentioned. So the first thing is preparation. It's very important to have a clear picture of what you 
what the story can do for your business, but also to understand what it's in it for the customer. And sometimes we even organize a keynote presentation with the benefits that our hero or our point of contact in the customer can, 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 so that he can share that benefits, the corporate benefits with the authorization and get authorization from legal communications or PR teams to do the story. So it's always nice to list the benefits again. So it's always, the customer can, it provides brand awareness uh, for, for Atlassian's audience. Uh, you can validate the innovative use of technology and streamline the engineering process. Uh, you can, it helps garner internal awareness and amplify the use of Atlassian inside the company. And that's, that's good for, especially for transformation. And of course, it helps with talent attraction as much of IT teams really love to working with Atlassian. The second step is connection. So and it's all about really learning how you can before going to the interview. So in the interview, you can relax, be present, and really focus on the customer and getting the story. Uh, we always ask ourselves these basic questions so that you have the main aspects of our story in your mind. So ask yourself, what's the story? What's interesting about it? What's the data that supports our claims? And what would I, could I ask for? And actually, uh, what, what can I learn before the interview? And one way to do that is to read some Atlassian stories uh, at the portal and try to understand what's, what interests you about them. So uh, another approach is also to try to imagine what a good, great title for the story would be, what a statement, a great statement for the customer would be, and try to get that when you're interviewing the customer. So, and in the, in the next slide, we see a, a checklist of five items that you should keep in mind, uh, in mind for the interview. Uh, first one is to prepare the questions that really connects with that business in particular. Uh, record the interview, so you don't have to take too many notes during the interview. Make it as conversational and relaxed as possible. Focus on connection and being there, being present and connecting with the customer. And finally, trying to get quotes from the customer. Well, now you have the story, it's time to write it down, right? So when doing it, try to picture the reader and what you want from him or her to feel, learn, and potentially act on. So ask yourself, why people would want to read this story? How is this story going to inspire your target reader? What can I learn? What can they learn? through the story. And it's always good to balance the two sides of the brain, right? Information and storytelling. So you may talk about the company, but also talk about the company's mission. You can talk about the business challenges, but sometimes refer to them as vision and obstacles to reach it. Solutions, license, apps, but also how the work has changed practical benefits, but also here are the statements. Before and after data, combined with examples to day-to-day -day positive changes and cultural shift. Well, finally, you have probably a good story if you follow the steps, and now it's time to share it and get the most of it. So ask yourself who can share your story, what communications channels you can use. Um, you could, you could use, if you have a peer team, for example, uh, try to go for them first and try to get, to, get, uh, to, get, to get them to share this story with, with outlets, with important media outlets. The customer Atlassian teams, the customer and Atlassian teams can help and make also a play for your internal teams to use these stories, either in sales process, in, in consultancy, process or actually in learning and training processes. Another thing is to look at your communication channels and make the use of them. You can share a story by email, marketing, social media, your website, of course, and 
Uh, also, something that sometimes uh, partners forget to add that stories in commercial proposals and in events and presentations. And here are some examples on how Atlassian and partners have been expanding the value of stories beyond the, the PDF. You could build gated pages to capture leads in your website. Uh, on Atlassian's website, usually the stories are open for everybody to look, but you could on your website build uh, gated pages and capture leads from it. You could make snackable, snackable contents, uh, very short pieces, uh, either PDFs for LinkedIn or uh, articles or small animated videos with numbers and impressive, impressive achievements of the story. You can run campaigns with the story with these assets or others. You could invite a customer to share your story live on webinars and meetings. You could build ebooks with a couple of stories. We have done that with for Atlassian. So it's pretty effective to build ebooks, uh, putting together some stories around an industry, around a specific problem or a solution. And you could do much more, right? Uh, you could let your creativity flow. Uh, the important thing is to take advantage of this tool to share your success and generate opportunities and, of course, spread the word about Atlassian. Uh, thank you, Pedro. I think this is a good place to uh, launch the next poll. Um, this question is asking if for your next customer story that you write, would you prefer to uh, you work with Sarah and her team to write it? Um, would you prefer just to you write it yourself with the customer? Um, or uh, you have an option to hire uh, an agency like the Sabia agency to uh, have them manage the entire process for you. So uh, curious to hear uh, what partners think would uh, be the best solution for them. So I'll give you just a minute here to uh, tell us what you think would be the you know, easiest or, or the way you prefer to run the next customer story. So far, most are saying that uh, they would prefer to have Atlassian um, work with you to write it. So let me, let me go ahead and share those results with everybody. So I, again, I think Sarah will be excited to see that uh, there, there's potentially more pipeline for her to write these case studies. So uh, thanks for uh, sharing your uh, opinions there. And, uh, and, and Pedro, thank you for running us through um, some of the different advantages uh, to creating these uh, case studies and some of the different ways that uh, they can be shared to uh, reap the benefits of writing them. Thank um, you. Next, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, next, uh, we're going to turn the time over to uh, Judith Hazard, who is a channel marketing manager based in the UK. Uh, she, Judith has been with Atlassian for nearly a year now, uh, helping partners across Europe. Uh, and she has about seven years of marketing experience in total. So, uh, Judith, I'll let you uh, t take some time to run us through what's new in the Partner Marketing Center. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, yeah, hello, everyone. So, um, um, I would like yeah, to take a few minutes and highlight um, a handful of new campaigns and assets we have in our PMC. There's obviously more to explore. So, you know, please log in and, and have a look yourself. Um, and otherwise we inform you about it in the newsletter. Um, yeah, one campaign I would like to talk about is the um, Pick Your Data Center Migration Adventure. Um, this is a new, well, recently launched awareness campaign, and um, it includes an interactive infographic highlighting the business benefits of migration um, and outlines how data centers flexible deployment options um, allow customers to decide what their move looks like. So you see on the left how um, the landing page looks like. Um, so it is really a campaign for, you know, if you have some server customers that have strict requirements or they're looking maybe for slower transition to cloud, then data center may be an option for them. Um, and apart from this interactive web plugin, you have also um, two personalized emails you can use. Um, and it also includes online banners introducing Facebook and LinkedIn creatives. So that's really exciting about this um, campaign. 
This campaign, the other one I want to talk about is a webinar on demand campaign, um, Get to Know Atlassian Cloud. And this one uh, walks customers through all the great new features and functionalities that are available um, for their teams and business that come with Atlassian's highest tier cloud offering. Here you see um, the snippet of the um, web plugin. Um, so this is uh, really there to enable customers to discover how with Atlassian Cloud Enterprise they can achieve global scale, enterprise grade security, and powerful admin controls for Jira software, Confluence, and Jira service management. Um, this campaign includes yeah, a landing page, um, which outlines how Atlassian Cloud Enterprise can future-proof teams. Um, it also includes two personalized emails, social media posts, and online banners as well. I would also like to um, highlight some features in the PMC that you might have um, you know, forgotten about or have never used before. Um, and one of them is the um, social syndication um, feature. Um, and this one you can find under the tab um, social media. And once you um, connect your social media platforms with this functionality, you will find relevant fresh weekly content um, and about trends, you know, and business topics. So it's not always about Atlassian. Um, and it is really useful for B2B prospects. So, you know, you find five posts each week um, for Facebook, Twitter, WeChat, and LinkedIn. And you can really then show your, your expertise. And um, yeah, so once you connect your social media platforms, um, you can start the automated syndication or you can customize these posts, um, you know, edit the copy, the image. You can also um, choose what time you want to schedule these posts. And you can find all these details, how to set this up in um, our office, our video on YouTube called the PMC Social Syndication. Next. Um, yeah, the other feature I want to uh, talk about, you can find under the tab more. Um, it's the marketing agencies tab. In here you find um, a selection of agencies that work um, globally and they are B2B agencies. Um, they all offer uh, different packages. Um, B channels, for instance, they offer packages from display ads, webinars and content syndication. And you can inquire these packages um, directly over the PMC once you click on details, or you can just contact your channel marketing manager to help you. Um, we also have new widgets, which you can find um, under the tab web plugins. Um, these again are customizable, so you can change the text if you want to. Um, and of course the partner logo and these widgets work like, you know, nice automated carousels, they show um, testimonials, so they're really useful um, to show customer quotes on your website. In the collateral library, we have um, new white papers. So once you are there, you can, um, you know, you can filter in languages, but you can also filter under asset type and tick um, uh, customizable. And then this white paper, for instance, would come up, which is the data migration guide. Um, and this is a step-by-step -step guidance, which includes tips um, from experts and um, is, you know, for moving the cloud, uh, the Atlassian instance to the cloud. So um, this one is 26 pages long, and this includes the migration plan and strategy. And we also have um, a series of shorter white papers. Um, there's, for instance, the top three reasons why companies move to cloud, and they include um, benefits, key benefits, and testimonials. And there you see we have a series of level up white papers. Um, about Bitbucket, Bitbucket Cloud, um, Confluence Cloud, Jira Software Cloud, and Jira Service Management Cloud. And again, they include key benefits and testimonials to show um, your potential customers. You can also find um, under the asset type, you can take case studies. And we have, um, we have new ones here. One is um, about the Flow App case study. Um, and th this one shows, you know, adopting a complete integrated suite of Atlassian's cloud products. And that has really helped, um, 
the flow um, employees better serve each other and their customers as well. There are also two um, case studies from Canva. Um, one is about their DevOps and ITSM, and the second one about autom automation for Jira using Jira Premium. Um, so they they really have by centralizing onto the Atlassian's cloud products, um, and really they have now a robust and secure ITSM solution, and that has boosted um, Canva's collaboration, transparency, and efficiency. And the other uh, case study talks about um, when Canva, you know, accumulated over 30 million users in under a decade, how then Jira software premiums automation capabilities were really essential for them for this rapid scaling. And that was this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Judith, for sharing what's new inside the Partner Marketing Center uh, within the last month. Um, I'm just going to launch the fourth poll here, but before I do, just a reminder, um, if you have any questions for Sarah, Pedro, Judith, or myself, uh, go ahead and throw those in the Q&A as we're just about to move into the uh, questions, uh, and uh, we'd love to help answer those. And um, since Judith just explained uh, or, or shared some information around the new case studies in the Partner Marketing Center, uh, I wanted to ask if uh, you are using the, any of the case studies that we have available in the Partner Marketing Center um, or not, um, just kind of curious to understand if uh, what the value is in these for partners um, and uh, maybe we need to uh, promote them more to partners as well. So I'll give you a moment here to, to give us your feedback on uh, content inside the Partner Marketing Center. So far, it's uh, trending in the direction that uh, a lot of partners uh, aren't using the case studies, but are interested in starting to, to use them. Um, I think one thing I'll, I'll call out um, is a, a lot of times as we talk about these case studies, uh, you know, partners are worried that um, maybe another partner is going to be mentioned inside of them and then it might, might be confusing to the customer. Uh, in, in most of these cases, uh, the partner's name has been removed uh, from the case study. Um, so it just kind of shares the generic story telling that uh, you know, this customer uh, you know, migrated to the cloud, for example, and, and they were helped by a solution partner. So uh, that uh, the specific partner who helped them isn't called out. So that allows you know, other partners to be able to share those stories uh, without sharing another partner's name. All right. Um, so yeah, let's uh, jump into um, kind of the, the wrapping up section of the webinar today. We'll uh, answer any questions that have come in. Uh, Judith, are, are there any questions that we can answer from the partners today? Yeah, I have one um, which asks, you know, is it correct in saying that Atlassian partners can use the case studies on the Spotlight program and customize them with their logo and company description to use as collateral to send to um, their own customers or use on their website? Sarah, um, can I have you answer that one? Yeah. And kind of tell it. I just want to make sure I understand the question. Do they mean they're allowed to do to repurpose it if it's their customer and a case study that features them but no mm -hmm. you could not just take any case study and put your logo on it and put it on the, the website does that answer the question i hope so because i read it that way you know can you i'm not sure <laughs> on the spotlight program and customize them so um I mean, if it's the partner submitting it, obviously there are their logos in there. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So if it's a case study that we develop with one of your customers, um, you share the customer story with us. We we interview them with you present, and then we feature your logo. Yes, you may use that content um, on your website, but part anything else for case studies will be in the partner um, marketing center. For you to access similar to what judith showed you with um canva and flow 
Okay. And the and the rules for uh, customizing those case studies are basically the same. Where uh, you're you're not able to add your logo to it if it's not your case study. Yeah. Um, so we we we've been uh, making that change inside the partner marketing center for the last couple of months now. If if you see that an asset is labeled uh, customizable in the title, uh, that that tells you that you can go ahead and make it editable. And and we've added some placeholders to add things like your logo to it. So if you don't see that customizable tag in the asset title, then um, you can be pretty certain that it's not available to edit because of uh, the approval process that we've had to go through with the customer to uh, be able to allow it to be shared as it is. Mm -hmm. Um, I have another question that asks, some case studies are public on the Atlassian, you know, .com customers website and others only on the partner portal. How is that decided? Um, to be honest, I'm not familiar with what everything that's in the partner portal. Um, so I would probably need to see an example, but if, if it's a case study that our team did that is publicly mentionable, then it would go on our, our website. I, I'm not sure that I'm aware of that use, use case, to be honest. Okay. Um, and another question here is, uh, how much lead time with Atlassian is typically required to launch a new customer spotlight project? Mm, great question. <laughs> um, it can take, I would say, it can take anywhere from two months to, six months to a year. It really depends on the customer involved. Um, I've had customers who are really big, sign the reference agreement, be ready for interviews and review drafts really quickly. And I've had customers who take a little bit longer to do those things. And sometimes like a project may come up so they have to defer the process for a bit. So really if, um, if quick turnaround time is what you're looking for, I don't necessarily recommend a case study, but we do, average time is about two to three months. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it at the moment. All right. Well, thank you, Judith, and thank you, Sarah, for answering those. Um, I had just one last poll for everyone that I'm gonna share out, uh, just asking, um, about your satisfaction with this session and uh, learning a little bit more about customer case studies. Um, if, if you have any feedback um, that, that you'd like to share or if you feel like you missed anything, you, you're welcome to reach out to uh, Judith or myself and uh, we can definitely get you additional information. Um, or if you'd like to connect with Sarah, we can definitely uh, set that up. Or if you're, you're interested in uh, learning more about what uh, Sabia agency could do to manage the case study process for you and your customers. Uh, I can help connect you to Pedro as well. So, all right, um, I'm going to go ahead and end that. Uh, just one quick thing uh, to help us wrap up here. Uh, I wanted to share that on uh, May 27th, we're going to be hosting our next office hours, uh, which is going to feature a panel session with uh, some LinkedIn employees. And um, as we've been preparing for that one, uh, th there are so many ways that you're able to advertise and promote your company on LinkedIn that I didn't know about. And so we're gonna be going through all of the ins and outs of LinkedIn and, and all the different tools that they have available to help you reach customers with different advertising tools. Um, I, I can almost guarantee you that, that everyone will learn something uh, about LinkedIn. And uh, not only are they gonna show you the different tools that are available, but they're also gonna be going over uh, what's working well on their platform, go over some best practices, uh, show you some tips and tricks on LinkedIn so that you can uh, get the best results. Uh, I think it's gonna be a great session, uh, very informative, and uh, we'll start uh, sending out emails and promoting that uh, shortly. And uh, I would encourage you and your teams to sign up and join us for that one. And uh, lastly, I want to thank uh, our speakers today. Thank you for, for joining and for sharing us some insights on how we can use 
customer stories to help generate more business in the future. And I want to thank all the solution partners that we that we work with uh, for attending and, and thanks for being great partners with us. So thanks for joining today and let us know if we can do anything to help.